our channel. New interesting lesson to be discussed. New learning can be acquired. I am Faye Haliesgo. And I'm Marjun Publico. For today's video, we are going to discuss about contextualization of the curriculum. But before that, let's have first an activity. You are going to identify the statement if it is true or false. Is that clear? Okay! Local communities have a key role in shaping education programs, projects, and interventions. Correct! It is true! Next, the Republic Act 9155 serves as the primary legal basis for the K-12 reform. You've got it! It is false because it is Republic Act 10533. One of the principles and standards of the K-12 curriculum is its being contextualized. Correct! It is true! Next, establishing a culture-based education is part of DepEd's mission. You've got it! It is true! Next, the last number. The Republic Act 9155 highlights the need to adapt education programs, projects, and initiatives to fit local needs. Correct! It is true! Congratulations, everyone! And now, let's proceed to our discussion. Are you familiar with the term contextualization? If yes, have you ever encountered contextualization of the curriculum? What is contextualization? Throughout the decades, there are many different definitions of contextualization of teaching and learning, referring to the curriculum in this education system. But all of the definitions are perhaps the same. It only differs on the current curriculum which the education implemented. According to Kalchik in Ortal 2010, Mazayo expanded the definition of conceptualization of teaching and learning as diverse family of instructional strategies designed to more seamlessly link the learning of foundational skills and academic or occupational content by focusing teaching and learning squarely on concrete applications in a specific context that is of interest to the student. Contextualization of teaching and learning as it is currently implemented is an umbrella term that refers to two different forms of instruction, contextualized instruction and integrated instruction. The definition of the contextualization as cited by Rio Bal 2018 in contextualization of Keto Chug curriculum, contextualization refers to the educational process of relating the curriculum to a particular setting, situation or areas of application to make the competences relevant, meaningful and useful to all learners. Another definition of contextualization, according to HeraldExpress.com, contextualization is the process of presenting lesson in meaningful and relevant to context based on previous experiences and real-life situations. The K-12 curriculum framework highlights the fundamental importance of context in shaping the curriculum and consequently, the teaching-learning process. Flexibility of the K-12 curriculum allows for curriculum enhancement in relation to the diverse background of learners. These are the features of the K-12 curriculum. There are two degrees or levels of doing contextualization. These are localization and indigenization. 
The first is localization. Localization refers the process of relating learning content specified in the curriculum to local information and materials in the learner's community. Second is indigenization. It refers to the process of enhancing curriculum competencies, education resources, and teaching learning processes in relation to the community context. Remember this concept. When we localize, we do not necessarily indigenize. But when we indigenize, we localize. The process of contextualization. First, establish dialogue and community engagement mechanisms with the communities for purposes of contextualized education. Second, situation analysis leading to community vision, mission, and goals for education. Third, education planning with communities including learning resources. Fourth, Research for Contextualization and Learning Resource Development Fifth, Curriculum Contextualization And lastly, Quality Assurance of Contextualized Curricula Support System for a Contextualized Curriculum at School Level These are Education Planning, Capacity Development, Context-appropriate supervision, contextualized school governance, policies to guide contextualization, and monitoring and evaluation of learning resources management and development system.